Right now across the nation, the scariest thing you can have is dementia, uh, or Alzheimer's, or Lewy body, or frontal temporal lobe dementia. This thing about, I'm gonna lose my mind, um, is a scary proposition. And as long as we're scared of it, we're scared to look at it, we're scared to listen about it, we're scared to talk about it. Dementia is where cancer was 10, 15 years ago, where nobody wanted to talk about the big C. Now nobody wants to talk about the big D. And what I'd say is, once we get on the other side of that, we can make progress. And until we get on the other side, we're blocking our own progress. Because we think there's gonna be this little magic cure that's gonna take it all away. And the reality is it's probably gonna be a while before we get anywhere near a cure for all dementias. So we have a lot of folks living with this condition. And we tend to think of it as us and them. But the reality is with dementia, we could be them. We won't know for about five to 15 years in that we've had enough brain change that it is dementia and there's no turning back. So my work is to help us see what they still have left and let's not see it as a line in the sand, let's see it as it happens and I can't fix that. But what I can figure out is once it starts happening, how do you still live life until life ends? And part of that is how do I accept you into my life and how do we help you accept that life is changing and how do we find common ground? And we can't find common ground if I'm scared. So I've gotta be curious enough to say, wow, looks like a freight train. Um, maybe I should step off the track and take a look at what's going on here and see if it's gonna pause here. I'll put my flag out and say, I wanna ride uh, because I volunteer. The challenge for many families is you never volunteered for this and it is a freight train and it's scaring you. And it's like, well, there's a stop here. You can get on and get off because you don't have dementia, but you're losing somebody you care a lot to it. Do you wanna be on the train with them for a while or do you want them to travel all alone? And whether it's a family member right now or in the future, right now what we know is one in five families is dealing with it. Within 10 or 15 years, it's gonna be one in two families. So the idea that we're gonna avoid this condition is just really crazy, to be honest. It's, it's gonna be everywhere, it already is. And what we wanna stop thinking is it's a monster. It's hard and I hate it, but it's just a condition that we live with till we die. So what we wanna do is figure out how do we do this? Because I can't, I personally can't make it go away. So I choose to be with people rather than to fight the disease because I don't know how to fight the disease that lives inside somebody. And if I'm not careful, when I fight the disease, it sounds like I don't like you. And that's a very dangerous place to go.